You know, a lot of people didn't see this coming. Yeah, it's being called the most shocking upset in the history of presidential politics. Our new president-elect is Donald A. Trump. So, how'd the evening go for y'all? <laughs> Well, we were on uh, Lifetime last night, right. and I was uh, slowly getting drunk, is what happened to me. <laughs> were you really? Yes, she was. Not really. <laughs> this is just in. <laughs> Florida went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, it, uh, it, was a, it was a rough night for everybody, yeah. I think. I'm, you know, we're worried. The people are worried. You know, okay, he's the president. Now what? Mm -hmm. We're watching you, okay? Yeah. yeah. What scares me the most, I don't know what scares all the rest of you the most, is that not since George W. Bush has there been a White House, a Senate, and a, con and a House of Representatives all from the same party. Mm -hmm. And then the FBI has stuck its uh, nasty little nose in the middle of this, plus the Supreme Court, who knows where that's going to go. So the only checks and balances we have are us, the view. Yeah, he... That's it. <laughs> that, that sounds great in theory, but one of the things he did was yeah. he blocked media out of things. They, they weren't even allowed to go on his plane. Yeah, but which... we're not going on his plane. We're going to stay right here yeah. and talk. Yeah, but within, remember, within the party, and I've been talking about this a lot, within the Republican Party, there are such bold differences. You have a libertarian wing of the party. I've always said, how does John McCain and Rand Paul wind up in the same party? They disagree fundamentally on foreign policy issues. I mean, Hillary Clinton was far more hawkish in, in her speech than yeah. Donald Trump was. So I, I, think, I think there are a lot of checks still. I think the Republican Party is trying to figure out who they are and what they stand for. And Donald Trump will want to do some things that people in that party will not approve of and will stand up against. And they will fight for other things that he necessarily doesn't represent. So just because something says Republican doesn't mean that there's a consensus on issues. I, I, I can say that for sure. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, we'll see. Plus, you're here. You're here to take him on every well, minute of the day. That's right. That's right. You know, and I'm already on his enemies list, as are you, Whoopi. So. <laughs> okay, well, last stop. The only thing that I think that's scary... Uh, part for me was maybe being caught off guard that I wasn't in touch with the country I live in and that maybe I am in a bubble when when cri mm -hmm. critics come out on social media and say you don't know what the world's about sadly now I woke up and I thought maybe I don't like I was yeah, I, it just it shocked. really was like a punch in the gut yeah. you know I, 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 I have to say my, my heart is beating so fast I'm 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 a little nervous to even speak today it, I, I honestly didn't think I'd be sitting on this side of it this morning. You thought she was going to win. I didn't think Donald was going to win. No one and I can't say that I'm upset about it. I know that over half of America voted him in and are happy that he's there. And yet, I'm in this room with a lot of people that don't seem to be happy about it. And although there are so many things, the way that he has spoken and talked about people that I absolutely do not agree with. I was a person that voted on policy, and so in that sense, I, I am happy uh, with the result. And yet, if anything, I hope, no matter which side you were on, it brings all of us as a people to a, pot, to a horizontal posture, that it brings us to our knees, our face to the floor, that we pray for our country, that we for him, whether you think he could turn this upside down or you're praying that he will uphold the positions that he said he would. I pray that we come together for that in, well, in, in humility because God says when we humble ourselves. Well, yeah, God it's says a lot of wonderful stuff. He it really does. And I like God a lot. But I have to say that given the bigger picture of what Donald Trump represents, it is not so comfortable for me. Because not only does he now threaten how things are going to be done with kids of color, with women's rights, with my right to decide what is right for my body, not what somebody else says what is right. That for somebody, the I, and, and not, not just my rights about my body, but, you know, my friend's children 
are afraid because yeah. this fool has said, and I know he's the president, but for me, when you scare children by saying you're not going to let them stay in the country, you're going to separate them out, children don't know what you're talking about. They hear these things, and it's crazy. And this is a bigger picture. This is bigger than him. This, re this ripples out in so many different... It affects gay folks, gay marriage, transgender people. This has huge effects. Whether we are a nation... Uh, who believes in people's rights as they are constitutionally guaranteed, whether we're a nation that believes in the rights as God has guaranteed, whatever you believe, no child should be afraid that their parents are gonna be taken away because they're Muslim or because they're Mexican or because they're black. No kid should ever have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is an issue. And that's why I, I, I pray for unity. And I do, I do believe that God is sovereign and can use the most unlikely and unimaginable, peop unimaginable people to change things. And if this four years doesn't go the way that the American people hope for that voted him in, then, I, then, I, I, then I pray it's a kick I in the pants that make we sure, all no, find a candidate sure that comes together that for a more common ground for all of us yeah. over the next four years. Well, what would be great. Yes, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> You know, and all those things are great, but for people who don't have a relationship with God that is your relationship or anybody else's relationship, where do they, what do they do? I think they wait to see what he does because a reminder to everyone is this man has been on both sides of many issues. He was pro-choice, then he was pro-life. He was supporting uh, uh, government-run health care, and now he's opposing Obamacare. So my concern with him was we really don't know what he's going to do. I don't think he's going to yeah. be some conservative warrior no, no, in I'm there. Not, listen, I'm not so worried about him. I'm worried about who he's going to hire. Who he's going to put around oh, well. what I've seen around him gives me pause. Yeah. Uh, what I see is stop and frisk coming back. Mm -hmm. What I see are things that I don't want to see anymore. But yeah. people didn't think about that. They voted their <laughs> conscience and their issue. And, you know, you get what you deserve. We got what we deserve. A lot of people yeah. voted in the and we'll see what happens. You know what I learned? What did you I learn? learned that, as usual, men can get away with anything and women can get away with nothing. That's Wait. what I learned. divisive, bigoted, racist, uh, homophobic, against handicapped people, against, against John McCain, but and yet he won. She, had a, she made some mistakes. But not like that. But that's well, not what they were voting on. People were looking at their Obamacare, their, their health insurance costs mm -hmm. skyrocket. They were looking at the fact that they can't put food on the not table. That they many were looking people at on Obamacare. That's to not put true. Him over you have the a 22% okay, hike. You know you what? Have Let's see. Up. I want to see what he's going to do next because he promised that he's going to repeal Obamacare and put and in something it. else. Now, I like his people to remember. He once said he believes in single payer. So That's let's true. see. You know what that is? Socialism. It is. That's let's what I'm saying. That's it. what I'm saying. Like Bernie well, said. You know what? It happened. He's not going to do anything We're still... he says. Well, if he doesn't, we can kick his ass out. He's going to build a wall. <laughs> you know? There is such a thing called impeachment, you know? But, uh, but uh, you know, look. We still have to put food on the table. We still yep. have to go to work every day. We still have to feed our kids. And, you know, we've walked through these fires before. This hey. is not the first time this has happened. And here's the good news. Yeah. Comedians are going to have a ball. <laughs>